Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I'll be building Agora Models Hatchet Park Works T800 Terminator. I am on stage two. Plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. The Uzi 9mm. I'll be back. Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage two. Here are the instructions for stage two. And it looks like we uh, start assembling the components for the head and right arm. So we'll continue on with uh, what we left off on stage one. And we have four steps on the right side there, along with a total of 10 steps in this build. And they recommend that you use a gel type super glue for this when uh, assembling dissimilar parts, plastic onto metal, or metal onto wood, those types of things, resin with metal, those types of things. So in this case, it's going to be plastic onto metal. So that's why we're using the super glue for that. So let me get the parts out, we'll get a close look, and we'll start the assembly. Here's the parts included with stage two. And nicely protected in the wrap here. Looks very nice. So I'll pull these out and we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of all the parts contained in stage two. And we receive the uh, upper jaw, which is made of plastic. You can see where our teeth insert into. Very nice chrome. We receive the upper teeth, which are plastic also. They are kind of a, an off-white, a yellowish color, yellow, brownish color teeth there. Very cool. We receive the upper arm A, and that's made of metal. Very nicely detailed. Nice chrome, the same type of chrome that we saw on the face. And we've seen the uh, upper arm piece B, looks like a socket joint, upper arm piece C. And then we receive screws in one bag. So I'm going to pull these screws out and, and break them down for you and explain them to you a little bit later. Here's a close-up of the screws. And you can see we have two different types of PB screws. We have the 2x6 PB screws and then we have the 2x4 PB screws. Now we also have a 2x6 KB screw. I'm going to go ahead and put this aside because I'm not going to use it for this stage. Now we'll assemble step 2, 3, and 4. And that's simply going to be putting the lower jaw onto the eye socket assembly. And if you'll see here, there's a couple of points here that it inserts into right here and right here and I am going to be using a PHO screwdriver because our screws are a little bit larger those are the PB 2x6 screws that we'll be using for this so we'll simply insert that in just like so turn it over and we'll put two screws in in the lower jaw and they tell you to be careful with the wiring on the back side. It can be very delicate. And they're going to be going in right here. Okay. Put the first one in here. Just going into plastic so it's very easy. And you don't want to over tighten it or you could strip it just until you get some resistance. Stop. And we'll do the next one.
And that was easy. There we go. That's how that looks. Next I'm going to get my super glue ready and I use this DAP Rapid Fuse. This is a uh, the type of glue they talked about. It is a thicker super glue and I'll be using my glue looper to apply it with and a little solo cup to apply it down onto. You can find all these in my Amazon store. There we go. Pretty thick stuff. Next we're going to continue installing this uh, upper piece of the face onto the lower jaw. And this time we're going to install two of the PB screws, but this time these are the shorter ones, the 2x4 ones. So in order to do that, they are going to go right there and right there. So I'll do this one first on the right side. And one more on the other side. And they are tight. Looks good. Right there and right there. And I believe we now install the teeth. Here's the teeth. And they are marked. The sprue itself is marked. These are number one, number two, number three, and number four. So they do tell you specifically how they are installed, and we'll follow that. In order to cut them off, I recommend a good quality cutter, but you can use some cheap ones too. These are the Tamiya sprue cutters, and it's just really simple to just cut them off one at a time. And I'm going to cut off number one first. So that's number one right there. And then I'm going to do number two. That's number two. Number three. And lastly, the last set of teeth here, number four. And I will take an X-Acto knife. I'll take an X-Acto knife and just kind of clean it up a little bit. good there and the next one Trying to get the little nub off. Looks good there. Be careful when handling these exacto blades. And that looks good. One, two, three, and four. We'll bring the mouth over. 
and go to install this. Alright, as we look at the mouth, number one goes here, two, three, and four. So I'm going to switch these around so they are in the right order. Better yet, I think I'm just going to pull them aside so they don't get in the way. And I'll work on number one first. Do a little test fit first, and they look good. Okay. Take my super glue. And I'm going to apply super glue across the whole spectrum of the lower jaw. I feel like a dentist. My daughter's in dental hygiene school, so she's been working on my teeth here lately. That's been fun. It's all good, though. It's all good. She's been working on my mouth. Okay, so we've got plenty of thick super glue in there on that jawline. And we'll put the first set of teeth in. Obviously you want them to be curved like the mouth would be. So the first set goes right down into those holes there. Number two, go next. Number three, Next, and lastly, number four. There we go. That's what they look like. I'm going to take some super glue accelerator, or what we call a kicker, and hit them with some kicker to, to accelerate the drying time, make them dry faster. And here we go. Looks great. I'm done with super glue, so I'm going to clean it off my looper here, take a lighter to it, and just burn it off. There we go, nice and clean. Next we're going to install the right arm components, and that's step 8, 9, and 10. And we want to make sure we align this up correctly. There's an, a notch here that matches the other side just like that. If I turn it around you can see it's smooth on the other side and we're going to install two screws on the bottom here. We're going to be using those KB 2x6 screws. The KB screws they call them. They're countersunk and I showed you those a close-up of those a little bit earlier. And so we'll go ahead and install this now. Going into plastic so it should be easy to do. There's one. And there's number two going in. Looks great. That's all put together. Looking good. And that's all we do for stage two. I had a wonderful time assembling this stage. And uh, we've completed a little bit of the right shoulder along with uh, the head and jaw, we installed the teeth. That was a lot of fun doing those. That was really cool. And so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all notifications. If you don't already subscribe to this, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this today. It's finally available in the USA. It's going to be a fantastic kit to build. Very huge. And you'll have fun displaying this in your office 
at home, in your man cave, or wherever. So happy modeling everybody and take care.